Hello, I'm back. <laughs> Today I'm going to show you uh, inside the toolbox and the fitting folder because they kind of operate the same way. So if you didn't watch the video yesterday, I was showing you inside the so long, the active part of the membership, the toolbox and the fitting folders are more like resource libraries. So they are more static, although I'm continuing to fill them up. So at the moment I'm sending a toolbox video every week and I fill the fitting folder as an, uh, when I feel there's a need or there's a demand uh, for things. So that, that has a less regular schedule. Uh, but essentially, what I'm aiming for is to have a really comprehensive resource for you. So if we go into the toolbox, I'm going to show you, um, it's basically loads of videos, uh, all standalone videos. And if you imagine you are picking up a pattern and the pattern tells you to do a center zipper and you've never done a center zipper you could go into your toolbox and you will find a video on, that will show you exactly how to do a center zipper things to preempt like uh, what kind of finish on your seam you should have and then you know how to do the actual center zipper so if you're a visual learner i think this is invaluable resource um, especially uh, but you know remember as well it's ideal because you can stop the video and work your way through at your own pace. Now, let's say you did a center zipper or you know how to do a center zipper, but you're like, oh, I just want to do a conceal zipper instead, but I'm not exactly sure how to do it. Then you'll have the techniques there and you'll be able to then swap. So my idea of dressmaking is that you build your own toolbox and you become more fluent in like swapping techniques and a lot of patterns uh, don't actually like push you to French seam the inside of your garment or uh, won't necessarily tell you how to uh, fully French seam a pocket. So then it's on you to kind of do that progression and learning. So this is where I think the toolbox is a really great tool. <laughs> um, and if I just give you a quick rundown, um, the top with a quick intro on how to use it. Um, the tool of the week, so at the moment, like I said, I'm filling the toolbox every week with a new video. So uh, if so I have a tool of the week because it just helps you to find it. Uh, eventually it will be organized in little compartments. Um, there's a video on actual, actually my tools, so sewing tools, and people have been really liking that video because also this is where you find all the actual results, I, like what size pins I use and what, um, yeah, different, uh, pattern master, how to, what kind of pattern master to use, uh, where to get it. So it's just like a really good resource. Um, but then start the actual toolbox and we've got stitch types. So these are really short videos. If you're really new to sewing, you know, having a quick rundown, what is it base, what does mean basting, what does mean stay stitching, what is actually back stitching, it's really, really useful. How to stop stitch. We've got more in-depth uh, training, like the buttonhole uh, video is is much longer because I take you really through like all the different things, how to mark a buttonhole, how to sew the buttonhole, and we have a video for each type of machine, so four step and one step buttonhole. Um, so it's a good mix of beginners and improvers techniques, basically. We have uh, a section on finishes, so French seam, uh, run and fell seam, bias strip. And here, when you don't actually have a video, uh, it's just because this is what's to come. So these are the things that you can look forward to see dropping into your toolbox in the coming months. And we've got pockets, so to come we have welt pockets, uh, pocket flaps, but we've already covered a lot of inseam pockets. And zippers, okay, the infamous the zippers and conceal zipper, that's been a very popular video. And then construction, okay. So 
eventually that's your resource base you come in you dip in and out you come and grab what you need and leave the rest that's fine and then we've got the fitting folder so it works in a similar way i may have to split this because now we have design hack and fitting folder so design hack is designing elements like how to change a neckline on a pattern how to um, change the shape of your sleeve um, how to draft a v-neck that kind of stuff i add design act hacks as i as we go along with our so long so if i if there's a lot if i ask the group uh, and you tell me basically so if you say how do i do um how do i remove the tab on the dress then i you know i make some resources for you so this is all design so if you want to kind of practice your pattern cutting is really good and the fitting folder is more about fit but ultimately they both sit in the same folder at the moment because um i don't know why this is happening <laughs> because um it's all to do with handling your pattern so we have how to do a full best adjustment how to do a small best adjustment how to lengthen the bodice adjusting bicep all these uh, essential pattern adjustments uh, and again i will continue adding as you, the group come across his own fitting issues and i aim to resolve it with you so um, another great resource so that's it for our both our toolbox type resource folders type of thing um they they've been really useful for the group uh people really enjoy them but uh it's kind of uh for you to come and explore them as you continue making things and i will continue growing them so um so that's that's for today and tomorrow i'm going to show you the base camp so i'm kind of taking you back to the start but basically you can navigate this membership in whichever way is adequate to you so it doesn't really matter all right thank you <laughs>